Hey guys, I'm Patrick. I'm the lead editor and producer here at LumaForge, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to collaborate with at least one other person when using Final Cut Pro 10. Now, there are two primary modes of operation when it comes to collaborating. One is locally in the same physical space. The second is remotely in separate physical spaces. When working locally, you're gonna to wanna to work with some sort of shared storage, like a LumaForge jellyfish. To set yourself up for success, here are a few key steps to setting up your libraries on a jellyfish. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually create a new library on a jellyfish in a location that everybody has access to. When you create this library, make sure to select it and in the inspector, you're going to want to set your media settings so that your media and your cache are both in a location on that jellyfish so that they're readily available to everybody who's connected. You also wanna make sure that your motion templates are set to in library, because if they are not set to in library, they'll instead reference your computer and any titles, transitions, or effects that you create will only be available to you and will go offline as soon as anybody else opens that library. Beyond your media settings, there are a few other things that you want to keep in mind that everyone is going to need access to. For one, everyone's gonna need access to the exact same set of plugins. If you're buying third-party plugins, you need to make sure to buy enough for everybody who's going to be collaborating on this project. If you're building plugins in-house using Apple Motion, then you need to, again, make sure that that motion content is in the library and that you consolidate it to the library as you're creating it so that everyone has access to it. You also wanna make sure that any creative or camera LUTs that you're going to be using are in a directory on your shared storage that everyone can access and that when they import those LUTs, they import from the same point. So if I've got a folder full of LUTs, I want everybody to import that folder the exact same way, otherwise those LUTs will go offline. If you're working with a whole lot of music, it's not a bad idea to set your iTunes library on your shared storage. You can do this by option clicking iTunes, and as it opens, you can actually create a new iTunes library on your shared storage, or you can choose an existing iTunes library on your shared storage. Once everybody is pointed at that shared iTunes library, all of the music in that library will show up in their music browsers inside of Final Cut Pro 10. Once you've got everything in place that people are going to need to share on a regular basis, it's time to talk about the number of libraries you will be using. When working on shared storage, Final Cut actually automatically locks libraries that are in use. That way you don't accidentally have two people working on the same library at the same time and then one of them ends up losing all of the work that they've done. There are instances where each and every person will have their own library, which is really useful if you don't know how your project is going to be organized, or if ahead of time you know you're going to be working in things like reels or acts, it doesn't hurt to set up a library per reel or per act. Maybe if you're working on a documentary, you might divide things into subject, right? So maybe there is a library for 1925 to 1936 and another library for 1927 to current. No matter what the case, make sure that you have enough libraries to divvy up the work between everybody on your team. Once you have all of your libraries set up, there are going to be times when you either need to copy or move things between them. If you're working with small libraries, you can simply drag and drop the items that you want from one library to another. To copy an event, just drag and drop. To move, hold down the command key while dragging between the two libraries. If you're working with a large library with a lot of events, it's not a bad idea to select your event and then use the copy and move commands from the file menu. When it comes to working remotely with Final Cut Pro 10, my favorite tool is called PostLab. With PostLab, instead of creating my libraries on a shared storage solution, I simply create them in PostLab and then they become available to anybody that's on my team wherever they happen to be. PostLab also handles the locking of the libraries and gives you a very clear indication as to who has what library open at what point in time. If somebody else has a library open, you can still open that library in read-only mode and pull anything that you need from that library into your own library. Copying and moving things between libraries is still the same in PostLab, and you are going to still need to make sure that everyone has the same access to plugins, music, sound effects, and LUTs. So how do you collaborate in Final Cut Pro 10? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll talk to you real soon. Thanks so much.